Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into our video. In this video, we will look at a three-phase T-type inverter demo model. This Plex demo model shows a three-level T-type inverter rated at 22 kVA that converts an 800 volt DC bus into a three-phase 480 volt connection for industrial grid tied applications. Further, this model exhibits how the device selection, controller parameters, and modulation approach influence the thermal performance of the inverter using loss models for Wolfspeed silicon carbide MOSFETs. By leveraging the Plex analysis tools and simulation scripts, the inverter performance is studied under several different operating conditions to ensure that the system operates safely and efficiently. For the T-type inverter, it is common to have different switch types or even switch technologies for the outer switches and neutral point connected switch pair, as the blocking voltage requirements differ. All parameters for the models are defined using the octave language syntax and the model initialization parameters accessible via the simulation menu. In addition to the system level electrical specifications, the user can experiment with the controller settings by manipulating the modulation scheme, switching frequency, dead time, controller set points, and controller gains. Similarly, the device type, number of parallel devices, and the impact of external cooling or larger heat sinks could also be analyzed. All of these settings will impact the loss behavior and system efficiency. The model is configured with the device data for three different Wolfspeed MOSFETs, but the user can alternatively specify other devices and provide the associated thermal description files. Each semiconductor device is modeled as a subsystem with a custom mask configuration. The subsystem consists of a separate MOSFET and body diode, each with their own thermal model. The component mask has settings for several datasheet parameters such as on resistances and body diode forward voltages. Specifying these parameters is important as it determines if the current is flowing through the MOSFET, body diode, or both conduction paths, and this in turn can influence the switch losses. You also have the option to configure the gate resistance, which will also affect the switching loss calculation. You can configure the number of devices specified in parallel too. By increasing the number of parallel devices, it is possible to scale up the power requirements of the system and reduce the per device stresses. The maximum operating conditions of the drain source voltage, drain current, and junction temperature for each device are gathered from the manufacturer's datasheet and included in the initialization commands. Using assertion blocks, Plex will provide a warning if a device is operating outside of the safe operating area by comparing the measured values during the simulation with the rated values. The control system is based on a decoupled synchronous reference frame current controller that is used to generate a voltage reference for the modulator. The current controller regulates the inverter output currents at the desired set points with separate PI regulators for direct and quadrature currents. The phase angle for the voltage reference is measured with a phase lock loop, and this is used to generate a three phase voltage reference. Back to the user configurations, five different modulation schemes are available along with the dead time setting. If we now run a simulation with the default model settings, we can observe the PWM signals for each phase lag, various electrical quantities, and the calculated losses of the system. Since the system will reach its final thermal operating point much slower than its electrical one, and because the losses are temperature dependent and therefore best assessed when all thermal dynamics have reached a steady state operating point, is it advised to interact with the model using the pre-configured steady state analysis accessible from the simulation menu. One final thing to mention is that a parameter sweep is an effective way to determine how design decisions impact the converter performance over a range of operating conditions since the power converter losses are sensitive to many variables. A simulation script is pre-configured to compare the different modulation approaches at peak current output for varying power factor angles. We have pre-run the included script here as it takes some time to complete, and the result is a generated set of plots that show the overall losses of the power converter and device junction temperatures for one outer switch and one neutral connected switch. In the plots we can see that each run triggers an assertion is marked with a red cross indicating the device operated outside of the safe operating area during the simulation. By modifying the circuit model, device selection, initialization commands, and script, one can use this example to study the controller design influence on efficiency for other topologies as well. This concludes the video on the three-phase T-type buck converter demo model. For more videos and further information, please visit our website at www.plexim.com.